In this video, we'll be looking at Pythagoras' theorem, and I will show you exactly how Pythagoras' theorem work, and also why and when we use this formula. So hello everyone, and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene, and let's get started with this video. First, let's look at what Pythagoras' theorem states. So it says, in a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now this is a mouthful and by just reading this sentence, you don't quite understand yet. But let's break this sentence down piece by piece and you'll get the whole picture. So let's start with the first four words. In a right triangle. Now let's draw a right triangle. And a right triangle has a 90 degree angle and we indicate a 90 degrees angle with this square. And while we have the triangle, let's also give measurements to the sides. So let's say this side is 3 centimeters, this side 4 centimeters, and this side 5 centimeters. And now let's continue with the theorem. So first we have a right triangle, and then it says the square of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse of a right triangle is always the side opposite the right angle. So it's the longest side of the triangle. But the theorem says the square of the hypotenuse. So we need to take that side and we make a square 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters. So there we have it and now we can carry on with the sentence. So they say is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So let's make squares of the other two sides. So first let's take the side that's three centimeters and we make a square three by three centimeters. And now the other side four centimeters and we create a square four by four centimeters. And now we will be able to understand the theorem better. So if we add the squares of these two sides together, then we will get the answer for this square. So in a right triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So let's test this theorem and let's start with a square that's 3 by 3 centimeters and we count the square centimeters. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this square is 9 centimeters square. Now let's look at the other side. This one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 square centimeters. Now the theorem says if we add these two together, we'll get the answer of the other square. So 9 centimeters square plus 16 centimeters square is 25 centimeters square. Now let's see if this is true. This square is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 centimeters square. So this is true. So this is a visualization of Pythagoras theorem. Now let's take away the lengths of the sides and without having any lengths, we are going to name the sides A, B and C. The hypotenuse is always C. The other two, A and B, you can always swap around. It doesn't matter which one is A and which one is B, but C is always the hypotenuse. And Pythagoras' theorem, which we just tested, says that the square of this side of A plus the square of this side of B will give us the square of C. So we can write this as a formula. A square plus B square is equal to C square. And we can use this formula if we have a right triangle with two side lengths and we want to calculate the third side length. And I will show you this in the next video. So if you would like to see that video or this video really helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.